Welcome to the warm-up. Today we are at Perry High School to talk Commodore football. I'm Mark Coons. Matt Finkel will join us momentarily. We begin, though, with Perry head coach Jesse Kill. And Jesse, now in your fifth year as head coach here at Perry, and as we were talking a little bit beforehand, starting to get into the routine of things. You've got your program in place, and at this point it's not necessarily teaching fundamentals anymore. It's starting about executing those fundamentals. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I mean, it's nice when you're here five years, the guys, they, they know what to expect. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't throw any loops at them this summer, and when they come out here, I don't really have to say a whole lot because them upperclassmen who have been in here three, four years, they're kind of pointing fingers at the young guys. So it's definitely the, the dividends are paying off here, you know, staying consistent, staying the course, and uh, hopefully it pays off once, once the season gets rolling. Two and eight last year and a very, very young team. Uh, but you've got a lot of those kids back last year, and I think there was a lot of talent on that field last year. But those sophomores and juniors are now juniors and seniors. Yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you what. Last year we replaced 17 starters, and we went two and eight. And our biggest deficit at halftime was 14, and we had that twice. We were in every single game until the fourth quarter. And I attributed a lot of that to the age. A lot of the freshmen and sophomores and juniors playing well, Instead of replacing 17 starters this year, we have 18 starters coming back. So, you know, it's really exciting. And like you said, we're not necessarily teaching all the fundamentals anymore. We're not teaching them how to warm up and stretch. It, all the time now is, is spent on executing the plays and, and maybe even adding a few twists here and there. So it's been a really exciting time for us here. The fact that you were in first halves every week last year, did that mean in the off season there was a greater emphasis put on conditioning, getting ready to play four full quarters for these kids? Yeah, you know, a lot of it has to do with conditioning. We're definitely, uh, th this, this off season during the summer, we definitely put a lot more emphasis on the conditioning. We did band work, we did stairs, we did whatever, you know, whatever you see some of the college football programs doing. And our guys definitely took to that, and, and they understood that the fourth quarter especially was our weakest spot. And so those guys, those seniors, were the ones who coming up to me and saying, hey, can we, can we run a little bit more? Can we, can we condition? I said, absolutely. I said, but you better remember this when, you come, when it comes football season time. Uh, so hopefully this stuff pays dividends and uh, we can put together a, a full game. And actually, you know, a lot of times, I don't know if it was physical conditioning, but a lot of times it was mental. It, it seemed that we could handle some of the adversity in the first half, but as soon as the second half would come around and there would be a turnover or maybe we want to get a fourth down, you, you know, that's when our young guys would kind of get down in the dumps. If we were, if it was close, it's, you know, hopefully that mental aspect is out of it this year. These guys are coming back. They have all that experience, and I think that we should be fine. And I think one player that probably typifies that situation is your quarterback, Plummy Gardner, was a sophomore last year, is back now as a junior. We certainly saw his athleticism on the football field, saw his athleticism on the basketball court. But as a quarterback, is he making that, that those mental gains now this year as well? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Plummy, I mean, he was uh, he was just a great surprise freshman year. He was our fourth quarterback, and the first three got hurt. In week five, he comes in, and he just did fantastic things, and he didn't really know what was going on. And I don't blame him. He was a young guy, about 14 years old. Last year, he came in, and he started to learn the basics of the offense, but still head was spinning a little bit. This year, it's been great. He, he knows what's going on. He's pointing fingers to the some of the other receivers. He's telling them where to move, where to sit, where they should uh, find the the openings and I mean he is a true dual threat quarterback he's one of the fastest kids on the team and he is fun to watch what other kids are, are fun to watch on this team I'll tell you what we're gonna have a, a wide out who's pretty spectacular uh, Brandon Neal mm -hmm. he's been playing since he's been a freshman now, he runs a true he is 40s in the four fives I mean consistently he has some of the most phenomenal hands I've seen at high school and he runs great routes so he's definitely going to be our big play guy on the outside but we got another receiver John Harrison who had 45 catches last year right. so he, he's going to be the slot receiver who gets a lot of the the first downs I think about 30 of his catches last year were for first down so got some guys on offense that can definitely make some plays and then our offensive line is just well above and beyond where they were at this point last year do, I mean, we had a no, new coach, Luke Taviano, definitely whooping them into shape. Mm -hmm. Defensively, what's Perry going to look like? <clears throat> Defensively, we're going to be hopefully fundamental. We run a 4-3, and, you know, we're not going to do anything too crazy. We want our defense. We want to put them in the best position to make plays. Uh, so we're not going to be super aggressive. It's going to be more of bend but don't break. And uh, hopefully we can get some three and outs here and there or definitely keep them out once the uh, 
sh uh, the field gets shorter for the offense. You mentioned Luke Taviano. Any other changes to the coaching staff this year? Yeah, we got one other guy. His name is Rick Seaver. He's mm -hmm. a Delphus guy as well. He came over here to get a, uh, be our tech guy at school, and as soon as he walked through the hall, I said, <laughs> hey, I, you know, I need, I need you to come coach. So it, it, it's been great. He's been great with the running backs and the defensive backs. But overall, great coaching staff and the experience coming back with the kids. It's, it's just been absolutely wonderful here. Taking a look at the schedule, open up against Troy Christian, then Allen East and Ayersville. That, that's a pretty good non-conference schedule for Perry this year. <laughs> yeah, our, our non-conference is, is very tough. I actually talk about how we have all this experience back, and that's absolutely exciting for us. But the problem is the first three games, them three opponents, I have a lot of guys coming back right. too. Troy Christian went to the round two or three in the playoffs. I think they only had one or two seniors last year, so they're coming back. Alan East, I think anybody that watches high school football knows they turned a page last year and they were competitive. They won a few more games and they were very competitive and I hear they got a lot coming back. Ayersville went eight and two and mm -hmm. they have their three main guys back. So definitely tough first three games, but we're kind of excited for that challenge. Open up NWCC play week four against Ridgemont. Uh, take us through the, the conference. How do you think the league's gonna look this year? Well, you know, we have the two new teams as of a couple years ago, Fort Loramie and Lehman Catholic, and they are definitely always going to be one of the top two, the top teams to be talked about, and uh, rightfully so. Great coach. I mean, great football schools, very disciplined. So they're always up there. But I can, I can tell you, Riverside, they've been turning around with their newer coach, and he, they're going to be tough. USV's got a heck of a, an athlete and a few other athletes on that team, so they're turning around and – you know, some of the other schools like Waynesfield, Ridgemont, I mean, they're turning around as well. So our goal is just to compete, do the things that we're supposed to do and put ourselves in positions to where we can possibly compete for that league title. What needs to get accomplished between now and week one? Well, last year, one of our biggest downfalls was turnovers, specifically in the second half, mm -hmm. which could be with the conditioning. So we really want to be in better shape physically. We want to be better shape mentally. We want to uh, limit them turnovers and on defense you know we gave up a few of the big plays which is why we're being a little bit more conservative on defense this year the bend and don't break as opposed to try to get the big sacks but yet here and there you give up the big play that's what we want to try to eliminate all right thank you very much jesse Kill thank from you the perry counters we're going to take a break on the warm-up when we continue more from perry here in wsa Welcome back to the warm-up. We're at Perry High School, ready to talk to a couple, actually three, senior Commodores. We're joined by Sam Sanders, who plays right tackle and outside linebacker. He's right to my right. Dustin Locke is in the middle, middle linebacker, right guard. And on the end, it's Robbie Mulcahy. Spells Robbie with a Y. Tight end, outside linebacker. So, Sam, let's start with you. How's camp going so far? I know it's hot out here. You guys look like you're sweating. Maybe a nice breather to talk to me for a bit. Yeah, it's going pretty good. We got pretty good numbers out this year and we've all been out here working pretty hard and the heat's been a factor but we've been working through it as hard as we can getting plenty of water and just been working as hard as we can. Dustin Coach Kill talked about how this team is ready for to make a leap and got a lot of good experience in tight games last year is that something you've noticed so far in camp? Yeah we've been all working harder to make the little bit of changes that will take to win those close games. Robbie, what about for you? How's camp been going? And are you seeing Perry making that leap towards being a, a winning team? Yeah. During camp, we uh, ever, since the past years, they've been off. But this year's a lot better. Sam, coach said that part of the reason that you guys ended up losing seven games was conditioning and I think that's something that the seniors mentioned as well so is that something that is a focus here at camp? Yeah we've been trying to get everybody to keep going and not take breaks because that's one big factor is we'd get we'd hang with these big teams like Lehman and everybody throughout the first half and then it'd come to the second half and we we're just drained and we couldn't keep competing with them that's why we ended up losing them close games so we've been trying to move more and keep going so we're not taking as many breaks so that we can get the stamina up so we can compete with the bigger teams. Dustin, did you guys get together in the off season and put together a workout program as seniors or, or even with the whole team? Yeah, we had winter lifting and then our coach worked with us in the gym on 
fundamentals and going over everything like that. And Robbie, have you seen the seniors come together to, to lead this team and, and be the go-to guys? Yeah, we've been trying to get all the younger guys out a lot to help get everyone together to work harder this year. Make well, us good, better. Yeah, good luck, guys. It looks like hard practice going on right now. And keep it up. Look forward to watching you guys week one. Time for a break here on the warm-up when we come back. More from Perry High School. Welcome back to the warm-up. It's our third and final down from Perry. Three more Commodore seniors joining me now. It is Matthew Satterfield, plays on the line. Right to my right, John Hairston is in the middle, wide receiver cornerback, and Kevin Allen, offensive line, defensive line on the end. Matthew, let's start with you. Coach Taviano, new to the coaching staff and working with the offensive line. What have you seen out of him so far? Uh, he's really turned around from last year. I mean, I feel like we've been more improved. We've worked harder. We've learned a lot more in just a matter of three days than we learned all last year. And it looks like we're going to have a pretty good line this year. We have uh, mostly returning seniors, so looking pretty good. That's what you want to see coming yeah. into the season. John, for you, at wide receiver, catching the ball from Plummy Gardner, he's making his junior, this is his junior season, right, I believe? Yeah. So have you seen him come along, and what's the camaraderie like between you two? Well, PJ's came a long way from where he began last year. He's a pretty good quarterback. Uh, playing on running a lot of good routes. Catch a couple balls from him this year. Absolutely. And Kevin, for you on the line, your job is to protect Plummy, of course, and then yeah. also rush, rush the passer. How's the line gelling so far? It sounds like a lot of guys who know each other well. Yeah, we uh, practice a lot together, so we know each other off, off the field and on the field, and we grew up together and I'm thinking we as a unit we can uh, do pretty good and hopefully get a lot of points. Well Matt you've had some time to work in training camp and you're obviously working up towards week one against Troy Christian you have a tough non-conference schedule so what does the team need to accomplish throughout the rest of training camp and during their scrimmages to be ready for week one? Uh, what we really need to work on is just uh, I would say I don't even really know uh, we've done everything pretty well. Just pick up the pace, I guess. Get ready for a Troy Christian and, you know, get ready for our tough week one, then work our way through the season. John, what about for you? What do you what do you want to improve upon personally and for the team? We're working on our blocking, uh, catching the ball better, and make sure we run our routes nice and crisp. And then, Kevin, you guys obviously get into NWCC play later in the season. Tough league. It's getting better and better each time. And you guys were in some competitive games last year. What do you have to do to compete in the league and, and maybe be in the, in the group for a league title? Uh, mainly, I think we need to stop the run defense and just keep the quarterback scrambling and have the linebackers pick them up. And then hopefully our corners can hopefully guard the wide receivers. Matt, do you get a little more ha amped up for league games as opposed to non-conference, or is it all the same to you? You're on the football field. It's all the same. It's an opponent. Got to do my job. Got to do it right and make every tackle I can. Final question for you, John. We'll end it with you. What do you think the biggest strength of the 2015 Perry Commodores football team is? Our biggest strength would probably be our defense. we got a pretty good defense out there. A lot of returning players from last year that know what they're doing. And our line's looking pretty good. Our linebackers looking pretty good. Everybody on the defensive squad looking pretty good. That's good, because there's an old cliche that says defense wins championships. So you want to have a good defense. Looks like Perry will this season. Thanks for joining us, guys. Good luck to you this year. That's going to do it for this edition of the Warm Up from Perry High School. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on the West Ohio Sports Network.